Welcome to Colombia! Today I'm talking about the most exciting animals you can find in Colombia. Welcome wonderful people all over the world. Thank you for tuning in to Colombia Frank, the travel channel of Colombia. My name is Frank, I'm Swiss. I came to Colombia in 2015 and I run a travel agency here in Bogota for foreigners who want to travel to Colombia. Today I'm talking about the most exciting animals you actually can find in Colombia, but First of all, there were some critics on my channel and commented on my coffee consumption. And as you can see, there's real coffee inside. And at the end of the video for those critics, I will show you how I prepare the coffee myself for having the speeches here with you. So let's go on and start with the most exciting animals you can find here all over Colombia. So first of all, for those who are not too familiar with Colombia, this country is actually the second most biodiverse country in the world after Brazil and therefore the amount of plants and animals is huge. It's just so big. I will give you some numbers that you will have an idea. So in Colombia, we count with around 500 different mammals. We have over 1,900 bird species. There are over 500 species of reptiles, over 1,400 freshwater fish and over 3,000 butterflies. And the list goes on and on and on. This is just a small selection of the superlative of Colombia. And some of the most biodiverse regions are the Amazon and the Pacific coast. So let's start right away. And this is very interesting for US Americans, Canadians and Europeans. Monkeys. In Colombia, you find and you can see monkeys all over the place. It's impressive. And they're like from tiny until quite big. And this is because there are 38 species with another 45 subspecies. And 10 of them are endemic. So this is why you can find many monkeys all over Colombia, different swords, different sizes, different shapes. And the one I remember most was the, the holing monkey. And that was when I was tubing close to Santa Marta. I was alone with uh, a friend on the river and we were like gliding slowly. And there was a holing monkey. It was so loud. I think they reach uh, a noise level of a starting fighter jet. Very impressive. Then we have... <laughs> That's my neighbor, he's, he's always waving, nice guy, uh, elderly guy with the big beard, very, very nice. So let's go to the next one, Anaconda. This is probably one of my personal favorites here in Colombia. You can find them in Los Chanos Orientales. This is one of my favorite regions here in Colombia. And this snake is getting over five meters long. Let's give you some, some details on that. So actually there's no clear information about maximum length. I think they grow throughout their whole life. Um, but snakes can reach up to five meters or 16.4 feet and weigh over 120 kilograms. I remember when I was in Leticia, a native uh, indigenous told me in their region they have anacondas until 12 meters of length. I'm not sure if that is a fairy tale or if this is true, but it sounds very long to me. Actually, 12 meters, that's 40 feet. Can you imagine? Ooh, very long. And I would say the best region and best season to spot anacondas is Los Chanos. 
and that during the end of the dry season because all the water holes they get very scarce all over the region and all the animals they go to those water, water holes that are left over and also anacondas they hide in the mud and if you have a good local guide they know exactly where to find them and also in colombia we have bears and it's the spectacle bear and it reaches a length of 100 centimeters so it's quite big and can weigh over 150 kilograms usually you can find them in the andes up to 4500 meters above sea level i saw one of those bears in nariño and that was quite interesting then we go to the pacific and there you can spot humpback whales it's actually very easy between june november it's whale watching season and you can see those whales on a daily basis very easily uh, there are some good tours from biosolano with biologists really really great guys yeah if you're lucky you also will see those whales jumping and uh, this is incredible how such big animals can get out almost with their whole body size out of the water and i saw that like twice and whale watching in colombia that's really a good plan then we go back to the los chanos orientales and there we can find the chiguiro also capybara and they're not only funny to see uh, because they're like beavers you can eat their meat barbecued very very tasty and actually Chiguiros, they weigh up to 75 kilograms and they look harmless but can become quite aggressive. Especially in the water, you have to be careful because they are in huge families and for example a dog who is nearby and thinks he can swim along with the capybaras, they might kill him. So, capybaras. Then we go to the Andean mountains and we found a very interesting bird, the Andean condor. I didn't see it so far in Colombia, but I saw it in Peru, eh, close to Arequipa. And then the condor with the wingspan of 3 meters, which is 10 feet, and the weigh over 15 kilograms, is one of the biggest birds in the air. And I also remember that they need a little thermic to go up into the air, because they're so heavy. Then also what you can find here but you probably don't exactly want to encounter our electric eels those eels are also in the amazon in los chanos and they can produce electricity up to 800 volts and one ampere and they can give you such a shock that you can't move anymore and you will drown this is for attacking and defense reasons. On YouTube you will find some interesting videos where you see fights between electric eels and alligators. Then also a very common animal here in Colombia which you find in many regions are sloths. Those very nice animals sometimes are captured by indigenous or locals or whoever and used for tourism purposes and I really strongly recommend not visiting such places although it cannot be seen from the animals behaviors captured slots usually don't survive a lot of time because getting in contact with human is very very stressful for them so what happens usually in tourist places where they offer you taking selfies with slots they capture them and then they use it some some months a couple of months for their purpose of making money with tourists and then they die and then they will be replaced by newly captured animals so don't go for selfies with sluts think about the animals then also a very interesting bird flamingos you will find in la guajira there's a place very close to riacha and sometimes they're not there uh, but sometimes yes and also when you go to punta gallinas you have a spot where there are hundreds or when not even thousands of those beautiful birds you can observe then we dive into the world of the insects and you find different mantis here in all different sizes and shapes and especially if you go out at night and use little lights 
you might be lucky and find some cool mantis. Also some of the animals I found in Los Chanos, uh, it's the giant otter. Those are very interesting and big animals actually. They're also very social and very curious. And I, we approach them until like 50 meters and they make funny noises. But also those very funny and nice looking animals can become very aggressive and sometimes they even kill alligators that come too close to their youngsters. Then also one of the very, very exciting animals and I saw them uh, several times, the giant ant eater. And when you're lucky, you can get even very, very close because they have a very bad sight. And I think when I had my first encounter, we were like two meters away. I was standing still and he came closer and closer and realized very late that I was actually there. But you shouldn't get any closer. They have some really dangerous claws. Then we go back to the Pacific Ocean. You can find hammerhead sharks. And especially in the island of Malbello, which is like 40 hours by boat, those hammerheads they grow up to six meters which is uh, 20 feet and they can weigh up to 600 kilograms. Then one of the most impressive birds I've seen during my whole life is the harpy. It was not a zoo but a center where they collect like harmed animals and uh, animals that were supposed to go into illegal trafficking and the harpy I saw there oh it's so big it's beautiful so also the harpy is uh, native to colombia and also on youtube if you search for those birds it's impressing how they hunt monkeys for example in the jungle then one of the most impressive animals all over colombia it's the jaguar and although i heard some people that they told me they had sights it's almost impossible because those are very very shy animals. Usually you can capture them with uh, trap cameras during night. And what is very interesting and very good, uh, more and more people on their farms, they're regrowing the native forest to open up the whole jaguar road because those animals, they move around in a huge territory. And then one of the probably most emblemic animals here in Colombia, hummingbirds. And in Colombia we have over 150 different species in hummingbirds and you can find them also over 4,000 meters above sea level which is over 13,000 feet in the Paramos. And then we go back to Los Chanos and there is the Orinoco crocodile and it's actually one of the biggest crocodiles in the world. There are not many left but there actually regrowing them and uh, setting them free on, on the farm and they're growing up to seven meters which is 23 feet and there were reports that there have been specimens with body lengths up to nine meters and 30 feet. Also I wrote a blog about those animals which is called the 31 most exciting animals of Colombia which you will find on our homepage. Poison dart frog. Who doesn't know the poison dart frog? I think everybody knows that from movies and the area where this frog actually can be found is very small. It's a little spot on the Pacific coast and some people go there to, to find it. Also, another animal which is known throughout the world is the piranha. And I think there are over 60 species, but only a few of them are actually dangerous to human. Usually this fish is, uh, is a chicken and very scared of everything. So usually there's no danger for humans. We remain in the water and there's a fish. It's called Birarugu and it's delicious. <laughs> it's also found in the Amazon and some people, some locals, they, they keep them in, in capture. And you also can feed them and when you throw down or hold down some food, they're coming up and it's a big splash and noise and it's quite scary, but they're harmless. But very delicious because they have no fish bones. It's a great fish. Great fish. Pink river dolphins. When I was in Leticia, 
we saw them all the time. Also in Los Llanos, in the Meta River, I think. You can find them, you even can uh, swim with them. I'm not sure if those are the same species that you find in the Amazon and in the Los Llanos, but they're very, very sweet and very interesting to watch. Then as all already said, butterflies, 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 over 3000 different kinds. And you also find, for example, in the coffee triangle in Quindío, you find uh, in the botanic garden, you find a house full of butterflies, which I recommend you to visit. Then there is the glass frog. You can find that frog in the Sierra Nevada Santa Marta. And the speciality about that frog is actually that you can see through it. Very interesting. I didn't see it so far. And usually there are tours to find it at night. And yeah, still tough pending also for me, also after five years living in Colombia. We are almost at the end. We have the tapir. And I remember I saw a tapir as a kid when I was in Zurich in the zoo and I was very impressed. And tapir also exists here in Colombia. I didn't see one uh, wild one so far, but I hope that will change in the future. Also, one of the most interesting birds you can find in Colombia is the toucan. And it's not just one species, you find many different species of toucans and they come in all sizes and colors. But what they have in common in general is a very big beak. Uh, some are a bit smaller and some are really super sized. And I also would say this is one of the most interesting birds to find here in Colombia because yes, of the very impressive beak. That was the most impressive and exciting animals of Colombia. I hope you like that information. If you have questions, write them down in the comment section. You will find more information in the description. I am happy if you give me a like. That's very good for the algorithm. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And I hope to see you soon here back on my channel or even better here in Colombia. See you next time. Here's Columbia Frank. Bye-bye.